Good morning, superheroes. What a week it's been here at Holiday Club. We have learned so much about our superhero, Peter, haven't we? We've learned about his decision to follow Jesus when he was given a choice, when he left his nets and followed him. We saw his faith and trust in Jesus when he stepped out of the boat and walked on water. And we learned that Peter made mistakes. Do you remember how he denied Jesus three times and then the cock crowed and then there was the transformation as Peter learnt what Jesus wanted him to do. What a superhero Peter is and today is all about boldness. That's our superhero theme. When Jesus left his disciples and returned to heaven he gave all of the disciples a command to go and tell others about him and that he would leave them a gift, the gift of the Holy Spirit. This event we can read about in the book of Acts and in the church we call this Pentecost. Can you say that with me? Pentecost. Pentecost. It's a tricky word, isn't it? Well done, superheroes. Pentecost is the time when we celebrate the birth of the church and it happens seven weeks after Easter. It's always a great celebration. There's lots of noise and parties and sometimes there's cake because you've got to have cake at parties, haven't you? So shall we find out about our superhero Peter, about what actually happened and how he felt about it all. This is Peter's story. Peter stood in the middle of the room and wept. He cried. Everything came flooding back. This was the room that he had shared the last meal with Jesus and the rest of the disciples. He'd sat on this very chair and Jesus had washed his feet. How could their leader, their Jesus, act like a servant and wash their hot, dusty feet? Peter thought about what Jesus had said and all that he had done on that night. And he all he suddenly realised he was now beginning to understand all that Jesus had said. He remembered how he told Jesus that he was prepared to die protecting him. But then he'd let him down when Jesus was arrested. He'd been so scared that he too could be arrested just like Jesus and he followed at a distance watching Jesus and his captors but he kept out of sight and then he thought back how he denied that he was one of Jesus's friends not once not twice but three times do you remember that story do you remember how the cock crowed and we did our pictures of the rooster of the cock with the bright feathers. Well, Peter remembered. And he blushed with shame as he thought about it. How could he have talked so bravely and yet acted like a coward? How could he have messed up so much? But then things have changed since and he had a fresh start. Jesus had risen from the dead and made it clear that he had forgiven Peter for letting him down, for messing up. He even told Peter that there was important work for him to do. Jesus had returned to his father in heaven, but before he went, he told all the disciples to go to Jerusalem and wait for the Holy Spirit to come. So here he was, just a few days later, back in the room, that held so many memories for him. He heard the footsteps of the other disciples on the stairs. So Peter wiped his tears and hoped no one would notice that he'd been crying. The disciples joined Peter who were thank and he was thankful that no one had noticed. And soon they were all chattering about what they were going to be doing now they were together again. Now, although Peter could be quite headstrong, saying and doing things without thinking first, he 
and even messing up, the disciples looked up to him and soon they were following his lead. Peter was really impatient to begin the work that Jesus had set him to do. But the problem was that he knew he had to wait for the gift of the Holy Spirit. And this time he wasn't going to let Jesus down. Peter wondered, I wonder how the Holy Spirit is going to come. But he didn't have to wait very long. It started like the sound of the wind. It grew louder and louder until he could hardly bear it. The other disciples heard it too. And you could see that from the looks on their faces, the whole room filled with sound. And then he could hardly believe what he was seeing. Flames of fire appeared in the room, separating out and seemed to be above the tops of the heads of each one of them. Then what Peter saw, or at least that's the only way he could describe what he saw, but how he felt was even more amazing. It was as if Jesus had come into him again, but not into the room, right inside him. So this was the Holy Spirit, Jesus in another form, and he would never leave them now. Peter realised that while Jesus could only be in one place at one time, his Holy Spirit could be with him wherever he went. Now, it wasn't just Peter that felt like this. Everyone in the room felt exactly the same and experienced it at the same time. And they just wanted to get outside and go and tell everyone. There were plenty of people in Jerusalem to tell. After all, it was Pentecost, a harvest celebration. Jerusalem was full of visitors from all around the world. It wasn't only Peter who wanted to tell people all the disciples wanted to join in and the people in the streets couldn't help but listen. So the crowd quickly gathered. The disciples were so excited and filled with the Holy Spirit that they started to speak all at once. To some people, they just seemed to be gabbling and talking nonsense. But it soon became clear that they were just speaking in different languages so that every foreign visitor to Jerusalem could understand what was being said. With the disciples all talking at once, some getting excited, raising their voices, waving their arms about, it was hardly surprising that someone in the crowd shouted, they must be drunk. It was then that Peter took control and he quieted the disciples so he could speak to the crowds himself. First of all, he told them it was too early in the day to really be drunk. And then he told everyone the good news that Jesus had risen from the dead to de demonstrate the love and power of God. Peter explained how they could join with them and experience God's Holy Spirit for themselves. And by the end of the day, around 3,000 people had become a follower of Jesus. This dramatic event, this exciting event when the Holy Spirit came was the start of the Christian church, which grew and grew and grew and spread throughout the whole world and includes you and me now. How amazing is that? Wow, isn't superhero Peter amazing? We can learn so, so much for him. Although Peter had let Jesus down, Jesus forgave him and gave him a second chance. Are we prepared to give people a second chance if they've said sorry to us or for hurting us or upsetting us? Pentecost reminds us of Jesus's gift to us. And for our superhero, Peter, it reminds us of his boldness to stand up and speak out in front of all those people and tell them all about Jesus. I don't know about you, 
but I need boldness, just like our superhero, Peter. And that boldness comes from following Jesus and asking him for help. So, who is our superhero? Peter! And what's our superhero power? Theme, boldness. You are a superhero too, just like me and just like all of our helpers. You are a superhero. You can just be like our superhero, Peter. Make a decision to follow Jesus, put our faith and trust in him, just like Peter did when he walked on the water. Know that it's okay to mess up because we learned that Peter did that, as long as we say sorry and learn from all of our mistakes and be transformed. Jesus gives us the Holy Spirit and helps us to be bold to speak out about him. Well, I hope you've uh, loved learning about our superhero, Peter, because it's a great story to know about. Have a great day, superheroes.